Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and where can you download Windows 11 image? Of course, you can download Windows 10. We talked about it. I get asked all the time, where can I get Windows 11? A lot of people tend to think we're in the past where it's impossible to get online, so they get on these weird, shady websites once again, download images that probably have malware. There's only one place to download the image of Windows 11, and it's on the Microsoft website. It is offered free of charge. You can download it there. You can install it on any PC. And of course, with the Rufus tool that I talked about in the previous video, you can even install it on unsupported machines. So if you have a Windows 10 machine, you want to try it, go ahead. You can do it and it works. So uh, you can download the Windows 11 uh, image and it's always the latest image that you have here. On this page, this is the page to go to. I will, of course, share the link of this page in the description below. Uh, you have the installation assistant that you can actually download, which is kind of the media creation tool, basically. Well, if you want, this is the media creation tool, actually. So you can upgrade from here. You can try it if you want to upgrade from Windows 10 to you don't necessarily have to download uh, the image directly. You can just use one of the tools here. So the installation assistant will help you or the media creation tool, which can just create a USB bootable USB drive, DVD or so on for Windows 11. And you have access directly to the images if you want to have the Windows 11 disk image, which is right here. And it's multi edition is also oh, this image is big because it's all editions within the same image. Um, if you're wondering why it's just x64, remember that Windows 11 is the first Windows operating system to not offer a 32-bit version of Windows. So if you are on a 32-bit machine, you are going to have Windows 10, which is the latest that you can get for an, an x86 machine. So this is where you need to go. Once again, if you download this and install it, uh, even if you don't activate it, it will work. You can use it for as long as you want. It will have restrictions in some of the settings you cannot change when it's not activated, but it's a good way to try it and to see how it goes. And of course, if you have a Windows uh, 10 key, you can activate Windows 11. And um, apparently even a Windows 7 key might work in some cases. So you can try that if you have an old key product key lying around and activate your copy of Windows, because technically you got to activate it um, to have it working and remove the watermark and have access to all of the settings. So the link to the download of Windows 11 is in the description below. Just click there and you can get your copy of Windows 11. And it always brings you the latest version. So when there's a new version coming out, it will actually give you the latest version that is available. In this case, 22H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.